on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, back here again with another video. Today, we're going to get into Melanie Martinez Pity Party. This is eight years old. The name sounds familiar. It's got 200 million views. Maybe I've heard it, maybe not. I'll let you guys know as per usual. Uh, but I would like to get into more Melanie Martinez because just a few that I have gotten into. Very, very extremely creative artist, very different artist, and I like that um, in an artist because, you know, nowadays, so many people do the same old, same old songs, rap, pop, country, everybody's kind of the same, so when you have an artist that's really different, I enjoy that rabbit hole a lot, so hopefully we keep getting more into this, but we're going to jump right into it, hope you're having a good day, come vibe with your boy. She looks a lot more normal here than the other one, but there's probably a story, so... Disappear. What I put my heart on every cursive letter. Tell me why the hell no one is here. I like her voice. Tell me what to do to make it all feel better. Maybe it's a cool joke on me. Whatever, whatever. Just means there's way more cake for me. Forever, forever. It's my part. She like remixed that song. That's dope. Okay, so I enjoyed this song. I like this song. I think it's very cool how she kind of remixed that old song, Cry If I Want To. I don't know what the name of that song is. I'm assuming it's Cry If I Want To. But I like how this song is actually kind of sad, but she made it enjoyable to listen to. She made it kind of like an upper song, even though the, the lyrics are kind of a downer. So that's pretty good songwriting. I think, and that's something I've noticed just on a few of the songs that I have heard from her is her writing is very good. It's very much um, storytelling, like she's really good at kind of, similar to NF, if you've heard of NF, it's it's that, that concept of, of being able to take what's in your head and put it 
into words in a way that's both creative but also easily digestible for the listener. And I think you get that with Melanie. I think there's a lot of depth to her. And I might be jumping ahead of myself here, but I've done three songs now, I think, three or four songs. And that's just kind of the vibe I've gotten. And that's this one's eight years old. And the other stuff I've done has been relatively new, five months old from her. So the fact that she was still doing it eight years ago and now I think it's safe to say that that's just kind of the artist that she is. There's depth to her and she wants to make these really, really creative, intricate songs that are really true to her, but also deliver them in a way that a lot of people can relate to, which is very good. So I like her singing. It wasn't, nothing stood out to me as like, oh my God, her singing is amazing here. And this one is like some of the other ones where I could hear bits and pieces like, wow, she can really sing. And I know she can sing, but in here, not so much. Um, I like her voice. It's got a very similar to Lana Del Rey, but then also bits and pieces of Amy Winehouse. And then there's this airiness to it. Like she has a pretty unique voice and I feel like she knows how to use it. Well, maybe not at this point in her career, maybe a little later, like a year or two from this video. I don't know. We'll see how the growth is. Cause just doing death and I think void, I can tell there's a huge level of evolution going on, which is awesome. This song, I feel like the chorus I might have heard on TikTok. It sounded familiar, but I've also heard the original, so maybe that's what I'm confusing it with, but I like it. I like the execution in this song. I think it's a dope concept. You know, Pity Party, it's kind of sad. You're In my breakdown, what I think she's saying here is that she's going to take her time to heal. So she's going to cry until the candles, the flames go out. She's going to cry um, until this Pity Party's just in pieces, like... It doesn't matter. As long as it takes for her to cry and get it out, that's what she's going to do. And it's her pity party, so she's going to do what she wants. I think it's kind of a healing song. Maybe she's going through some stuff and she just needs to get it out and then she'll move on from it. Maybe I missed something, but that's kind of what it feels like. And I think it's really cool how it is kind of sad with a little bit of hope in there, a little bit of healing process, growth, undertones, but then also the song has an energy to it to where it's, it's not hype, but it is a good vibe. So the instrumental is a good vibe, but the lyrics are kind of, there's a contrast. Very cool. I enjoyed it. And the video was pretty simple. It wasn't anything crazy. I think, you know, she was just all alone. She had her invisible friends, her imaginary friends. It's further illustrates the fact that she feels alone, you know, and, and she just maybe is misunderstood. So I enjoyed this and I'm excited to jump more into her. If you guys want, I have no problem di diving into this rabbit hole because I feel like this would be a really fun one. She seems like a really creative artist and I think it would be a lot of fun, but you guys let me know. So that'll do it for today's reaction video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment down below. It helps the channel grow, helps the YouTube algorithm. If you're new here and you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. I drop a video every day. If you're not new here, welcome back. I appreciate the love and support as always. Thank you very much. You know what to do. Leave some comments down below. Let me know if I missed anything. If there's any meanings in this song, uh, if I need to start with a different song and go in order, y'all let me know. That is something for the Melanie fans out there. If there is an order of songs that I need to go through. If I'm going to dive into a rabbit hole, please leave a comment on, uh, or if there's a channel that has a playlist already, let me know. Um, because I'll, I'll write it down. I'll screenshot it. I'll make a list and that way I can get through it. Cause that's how I've been doing the NF journey. That's how I do most of the, well, not most, but that's how I do a lot of the journeys for a lot of artists. If you guys have a specific order I'm supposed to do that tells a story then that's the way we do it. If that's how you got to do it, that's the way we do it. So with NF, I've got the whole order in order of how the songs correlate with each other. If Melanie has something similar, y'all let me know. Otherwise, it's just going to be random. But if you're a fan of Melanie, be sure to support Melanie. Always support the artist that you enjoy or the content creator, whoever's making content or music for you and you enjoy it, be sure to support that person. So with all that being said, hope you're having a great day. Send them positive vibes your way. And until next time, I'm out. I'm